with the big silver sphere that you see, that's that's one of the most obvious changes because that's what the, where the people go. Uh, so to get from the 4,500 meter sub to the 6,500 meter sub, a big change was a brand new sphere. Uh, so it is larger, it is thicker, it's made of titanium, and it is you know designed for uh, well over 6,500 meters of water depth. Part of that sphere uh, are the viewports that are on there. You see three in the front. There's also two on either side. We'll see those when we go around. Uh, the viewports themselves are thicker as well. Uh, and you can see that they kind of jut out from the rest of the sphere to build up enough material for that thick viewport. That's almost five inch th five inches thick, these, these big ones up front. Wow. Um, so that makes up the, the, the main personnel sphere where the people go in. Um, the sub is very heavy, it weighs 45,000 pounds, and there, while there's air in the sphere that provides some positive flotation, uh, we also need to make up that, 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 that weight, that mass. And we do that with all this white stuff you see here, syntactic foam. That is a, is a specialized foam uh, that is in, you know, mostly incompressible at depth. So just like a styrofoam uh, light ring floats, this is a very specialized version of, ma of a material that provides buoyancy for the sub. Uh, you know, when the sub's underwater, it is neutral. It doesn't weigh very much positive or negative. It's, it, it's not heavy, it's not very light. Uh, it's essentially the same mass as the water it displaces. Um, but this foam is a big part of that. Um, as we move down the side, One of the systems that we do play with underwater is the variable ballast system, and that's how we change from being neutral to slightly positive or slightly negatively buoyant. And that's done by um, moving uh, air, or sorry, moving water out uh, of our variable ballast sphere. So you see these uh, spheres here, they're also titanium. They're pressure tolerant at depth, meaning that they have a little bit of air over that water, and um, we can, change the ratio to make the sub a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter. The other cylinders you see here uh, are also uh, pressure tolerant uh, for 6,500 meters and that's where we package some of the electronics that can't be immersed in oil. So the ones that have to stay dry are in all of these uh, um, those canisters there. Mm -hmm. uh, another look at the syntactic foam. This is a block that's uncoated but you can see that we hide foam in a lot of different places. Uh, right above us here are the new uh, the new propulsion uh, and electric motors. Um, so, like I said, the hydraulic pump is run by the same motor um, that drives the propulsion. So those are all new for 6,500 meters. So in addition to um, some of the main vehicle systems, we also have a lot of instruments uh, that have been changed out. Uh, the one that you see under here is the Doppler Velocity Log. Um, that is uh, part of our sub's uh, system for inertial navigation and general navigation on the bottom. So in its basic form, it acts like an altimeter, uh, or how high are we off the bottom. But it is a pressure tolerant canister as well. You can see many of these cables here, they actually have oil in them. Um, now that's not a change from the 4500 meter sub, but what they connect to is, they run up underneath this ballast tank to the sphere, and those are the penetrators, uh, mm. which is where cable and fiber optic penetrators move in and out of the, the hole, the main pressure hole. So those uh, penetrator designs had to be changed for 6,500 meters as well. Side viewport there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more big system change that happened on the sub uh, was the imaging system. Um, if you look up there, there's two of the cameras, uh, and the third camera, fourth camera. We have cameras all over, but, but these are new units um, that were uh, purchased uh, for 6,500 meters. And the architecture behind that is a brand new system that one of our engineers has been working really hard to integrate. So providing not only new cameras, but, but better capabilities. So we have 4K imaging on the sub now, uh, new locations, new pan and tilts, and the whole user interface is different. Uh, the recordings, uh, how they're operated by the scientists, and the product that comes off the sub not only is updated, uh, but also uh, 
is designed to be processed faster in the 